Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If you hear a little noise coming from that area, it's because I have a fan going. I have the air conditioning going because <laughs> we live in America, after all. We love environment and everything else. But I uh, took my um, monthly shower uh, a few minutes ago, and um, I'm sweating like a pig, like always. And since I'm such a eager beaver in coming here and letting you know about this hot topic, I couldn't uh, wait an hour until the body, uh, you know, gets uh, accustomed with the uh, BS uh, of the room. So, uh, office. So, I have uh, a little fan over there. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And air conditioning right there in my ass. Uh, so, not coming out of my ass, going into it. I have here a very important topic, and it is uh, about, uh, and a very interesting, the source. The source is an American source, or how we want to call a Reuters to be, actually publishing an article, very negative, uh, I know that's uh, improper to say very negative, but tremendously negative on um, Ukraine. You, and when I say Ukraine, I'm not saying Ukraine as a country, I would like you to make this difference i will make this mistake so i'm saying it ahead of time if you hear me saying ukrainians or ukraine uh, does this or ukraine did that ukrainians i'm not referring to the ukrainian nation i'm referring to the guys in charge of the ukrainian nation got got, got it and i'm picking my words in this case uh, very carefully uh, you guys in charge of the ukrainian nation so uh as you know, the Ukrainians are almost angel-like creatures. I'm talking about the leadership. And they don't do anything like we usually do during wars, which is uh, things that we are not proud of. Only the Russians do it. You know, war crimes, abducting children, destroying uh, you know, civilian property, civilian targets, and all that. And now you have an article coming from a... Um, uh, Reuters, which backs the Ukrainians, remember? And it says that the Human Rights Watch um, caught them doing something very, very bad, very bad, the Ukrainian leadership, the army, military. And what is it? It's right here. Human Rights Watch reports new evidence of Ukrainian use of banned landmines. I didn't have any, any, any doubts that they would do anything related like that. Yes, they will do. Why? Because of the reasons I mentioned before. It's a war. It's about life and death. You think you're going to have the... As I use this uh, little example many, many times. Do you think that a commander in the field is going to just get his booklet of, of um, um, Geneva Convention and they're going to, hey, everybody, sit down. We're going to have a little lecture here. No, they're not going to do it by that. I'm not going to make that point again. But the fact is that I'm very, very much surprised that Reuters publishes such a thing because I'm pretty sure that happened before. Many other things happened before. And you see a piece of news today, tomorrow is gone. Whereas some other news linger and linger and linger there until it gets in our heads. Okay, so let's read this little article here. So it must be a change, something, uh, or this is going to be gone tomorrow or this afternoon already. So this is from June 30th, 2023. Human Rights Watch, HRW, said on Friday that it uncovered new evidence of the indiscriminate use by Ukrainian forces of banned anti-personnel landmines against Russian troops. I'm not going to read that because that's like absolving. Uh, maybe they are justified. That, that, this is what is uh, this little thing here. It's kind of like, yeah, but you see this guy's invited. So some, somehow Reuters, uh, you know, uh, is going to try to back or cover. Uh, this could have been left out. All right. The troops, the, the group called on Ukraine's government to follow through with commitment made earlier this month not to employ such weapons. So they made a commitment and they take, took a dump already. Investigate their suspected use and hold accountable those responsible. And I'm quoting the Ukrainian government pledged to investigate its military apparent use of banned anti-personnel mines is an important recognition of its duty to protect civilians. All right, how do you protect? I mean, because sometimes 
the Ukrainians are gonna step on them. Steve Goose, Human Rights Watch Arms director, said in a statement, HRW said it shared its finding with the Ukrainian government in a May letter to which it receives no received no response. How about this? <laughs> Hello, that's me. All right, so Ukraine embassy in Washington did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Like, let, let's make the letters here like six inch tall so I can read it without uh, glasses. So, uh. <laughs> Ukraine in 2005 ratified a 1997 international treaty banning such mines and mandating the destruction of stocks of the weapons. <laughs> okay, Russia did not join the treaty and its use of anti-personal mines, and I'm quoting, violates international humanitarian law because they are inherently indiscriminate, end quote, the report said. This is like you say, we ban ammunition because they kill indiscriminately. So you have to have bullets that if they go towards a civilian, unfortunate situation, want to be like, <laughs> go out, right? So they, because they're in, inherently indiscriminate. What are you talking about? <laughs> Again, but whatever, man. I'm not for these things, but this, uh, you know, was, uh, I don't know, <laughs> sound stupid. All right. And uh, yeah, the Russians have said, at least said, you know what, bye-bye, we're going to use them. But hey, we ratified that. So we are, so that tells you how, uh, how much they, let me show you this, how much they work within law. Anti-personal mines are detonated by a person's presence, proximity or contact and can kill and maim long after a conflict ends. Since uh, Russia's February tra -la -la -la, HRW has published four reports documented, documented the use by Russian troops of 13 types of anti-personal mines that killed and injured civilians. So they both knew it basically. Hmm? Surprise, surprise. The new report is a follow-up on a January report that Ukrainian soldiers fired rockets that scattered thousands of PMF-1 mine mines in Russian-occupied areas in and around the city. The latest report said the fresh evidence of Ukraine's forces' use of anti-personnel mines in 2002 came from photographs posted online by an individual working in eastern Ukraine that shows warheads sanctions of Uragan. 2022 uh, millimeter rockets. I don't know if this is correct right here. Uh, 2002. Those rockets are uh, indiscriminately dispersed. 3112 P uh, PFMs, 1S anti personal mines, said the report. Uh, Analysts of handwriting on one warhead determined that the first word was Ukrainian form from. Ukrainian for from, while a second Latin alphabet word related to an organization in Kiev, which the report did not identify. The person who headed the organization also unidentified un had social media posts indicating that they had donated funds to the Ukrainian military via a non-government organization. Yeah, okay, so then uh, they tried to absolve now the leaders of Ukraine. All this is done like that. Photographs of Uragan warheads posted online bearing messages written in Ukrainian were linked to a different Ukrainian-based group, the report said. So right here in the past, in the last thing here, they just tried to say, uh, you know what, actually, it's not the Ukrainian government, it's not the Ukrainian leadership, Ukrainian, that's the key word, uh, leadership, is is just some NGOs, uh, is that the open society? <laughs> Well, I thought that NGO is just a non-governmental, uh, you know, funded and all that. Yes, that is. So, yeah. Um, so, however they turn it at the end, the report says that the Ukrainians are using it. Isn't it how the title is here? Reports new evidence of Ukrainian use of banned landmines. And they spoke with these guys, right? They, they, they called... Uh, um, the Ukrainian government pledged to investigate its military and no uh, response, right? It was received no response. Ukraine's embassy in Washington did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Be why? Because this, they hope this will die out and it will die out. I think this is going to be the only time again in about five months when you're going to hear about it. My point is here is not that I want to incriminate the Ukrainians. I want to incriminate the criminals. I don't care if they're Russians, if they're Ukrainians, Romanians, Americans, Zimbabweans, 
and anybody else. And the problem here is not that these guys are using it. It goes without saying they use even worse things and tactics. Why? Because it's a war, my friends. Uh, there's no such a thing as perfect army uh, like this. And they are just with the Geneva Convention booklet in their phone right here. No, it's not such a thing. Um, yes. And I told you the reason, uh, one of the reasons why we are human and we are under pressure. And when you are under pressure, you act differently than right now with my little fan over there, my air conditioning coming out. Yeah, okay. And me here, you know, clean and uh, smelly and all that. No, uh, we act much differently. And believe me, they do that. Um, how do I know that? We're going to find out. Little by little, uh, people will be allowed to open their mouth uh, and tell us certain uh, information that right now uh, they're not popular this is a very important uh, piece of news that trickled down you wouldn't have heard this before and this is just one example remember when the Uk some ukrainian uh, military shot the russians in the kneecaps remember that one uh, they were um, uh, on video and they were how do you call them uh, prisoners you remember those guys that were shot while laying down on their faces that's a video and it's all those guys killed and all that. The guy that came out and started shooting instead of just punishing it, they killed everyone over there. Um, so there are many, many crimes that are dead. You don't even, but you hear about Buka, you read about this and that, killing civilians, that pizzeria that was uh, destroyed and so on. The Russians claim killed two generals, 50 uh, officers and about 20 foreign mercenaries in that pizzeria or something. I don't know. But one thing I know, they're all a lie. And the problem is this mass media that's supposed to be, you know, providing us with news, right? They provide us with uh, this, um, this, uh, you, um, uh, that's how they provide it. And that's not good. That's not news. They are part of the problem as well. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.